Okay, so um, I got a couple of emails that some of you don't have spacers, so I'm going to show you how to make one just from uh, a piece of cardboard. So, you know, this was just a box. I just uh, got a piece of it off of here. And I'm going to start with this crease over here because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a nice straight line, and I'm just going to measure five inches. All right, and I'm going to put a little line or a little arrow at the five-inch mark, and I'm going to kind of come up somewhere else and measure five inches. Okay, and I'm going to take my uh, my ruler and kind of draw a line straight through there. Then I'm going to, because I don't want to scratch up my table, I'm going to put a, a clipboard upside down on this so I can scratch up the back of the clipboard. If you have your um, board, mace knife board, you can use it. And I'm just going to cut right along that line there. I can use my ruler as a guide my ruler is metal. If you have a plastic ruler, uh, you can just you know, do that freehand too. Okay, so I've got a nice five inch piece here and it's uh, bigger than I need it to be. And uh, I have a little flap here and that helps me kind of check if I know that this is probably, most probably 90 degrees and there's already kind of a partial cut in mind. So and I've got a crease there. I think I'll just go right on that crease. That's probably the easiest. I'm just going to cut it over here. I'm trying to make it square, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to cut on this crease because uh, this is what I measured my original five from. And if you don't have a ruler to cut along, cutting in a crease is pretty easy. You know, just get going there slow. And then... Okay. All right, so now I've got a piece and it's five inches this way, and that's how long I want the the uh, spacer to be. So I want to cut this into two big pieces and two small pieces. So, um, you know, I'm just going to go, doesn't really matter, but I've got seven inches here, so I could make a couple of two-inch pieces. So I'm going to put the ruler here on the end and mark two inches this way. And I'm going to make a line. And I'm going to cut that. Okay, I'll make another one about the same size. So I'm going to put the rough edges together. And I'm going to use this for my guide this time. Um, I could have made them a little bit wider, but I don't need to. And now I'm just going to cut this guy in half. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that because this edge is kind of crooked. So I'm going to just cut one inch on each of these because I can use the ruler or whatever the thickness of my ruler is. Just cutting one there and then... I'll cut this, just my ruler, and then I'll have a little leftover. Okay. So now I've got my spacer. This is going to be my spacer block. But to give it a little bit of strength, I'm going to put these guys in between. They didn't have to be this tall. They could have been just uh, half an inch tall. That would have been fine. So, um, uh... So what I'm going to do is glue these on here. So if I had rubber cement, I could use rubber cement. If you have regular glue, I happen to have a hot glue gun. So I'm going to use a hot glue gun. And uh, I'm just going to put some glue on one end. And I'm going to stick that upright just like that, making sure the ends kind of match. Doesn't matter uh, where it is. I'm going to put a couple of tacks on here. Just kind of help it hold upright. And you can see that works pretty well. Okay, let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to put the other one on. And these aren't perfect because they're just cardboard, but good enough. Okay, I'm going to flip this one around here. You can see I got a little curve back here. Oh well, that'll be okay. So I'm kind of making like an I-beam, if you think of um, structures. This makes cardboard stronger. 
It also makes steel stronger. That's why there are I-beam supports. So I'm just uh, getting some glue on this so I can put this guy on top of it. Hot glue dries very fast, so you don't have that long to work. Um, I'm just tacking it in a couple of places. And there you go. Now you have a spacer. So uh, if you use rubber cement, you're going to just not let it dry a little bit longer, but it's going to be just as strong. Put it right between your two forms and you're good to go.